we need to start thinking about carbon removal now. We can't wait for the second half of the century to start doing the research and development and getting this to scale and figuring out the technology and stopping deforestation uh, because the, these things are, have got to be part of the current solution. And I would just go beyond land side and say I'm really interested in some of the more engineered solutions. They are still pipes and industry, but it's, it's interesting things like how do you do direct air capture to get uh, to get carbon directly out of the atmosphere and then sequester it. What are other, there's something called enhanced weatherization or mineralization, where you take a natural process where rock, certain types of rock bind to carbon already, and you basically crush the rock so that there's more surface area, so more carbon binds to it, and you spread it over a larger area. People are looking into some of this stuff now. It's expensive, but we need to figure out whether you can do it, whether it can be safe, whether it can be done at scale, whether the technology can get cheaper. There's also very cool stuff that I think is cool because it's at the intersection of the built environment piece and the carbon piece, which is how do you take carbon dioxide or methane and turn it into products to replace plastics, to replace petrochemicals, to replace furniture, to replace building materials sometimes. Um, that's very cool, that whole set of things. And, and I, I kind of, I worry that we will think all of that is a later problem. And it, we know from all of the modeling that we actually need to be doing this at the same time. Thank you.